I think probably the first highlight was to uh, take off for the LSE in London to do my master's degree in the mid 80s. My first trip to Europe, it always blows your mind to go there the first time. And then I went back uh, to work for the Commonwealth Secretariat in London uh, in 1988, um, which was a great experience. I suppose the other highlight for me was to become executive associate to Sir Gerard Brennan when he was Chief Justice of the High Court. Um, and I say to people that was the best legal education I've ever had. Um, and then I think coming here is probably the next most recent great... Uh, I think basically it's got to be the best law school in Australia. That's, um, and I've said that we've, you know, we need to be up there with Sydney and Melbourne, but why not be better than those two? Strengths, uh, obviously great staff, great students, uh, and, uh, and the strong links with the profession, you know, so many alumni on the bench, etc. Uh, as far as improvements, I, I suppose my particular interest is in enhancing the student experience because you are such fabulous students and I think you deserve a fabulous experience. Um, and in that respect, it seems to me that, for example, tutorial sizes are too large, and but that's a question of resources. Um, so that's the area that I, that I have a particular interest in. I think to be able to identify your special gifts Everyone has special gifts, and I think law students need to be able to honestly assess, with the help of colleagues and mentors, what special gifts they have, and to use that knowledge then to strategically plan your career. I see from time to time students who um, strive to achieve in certain areas where I think they might be better equipped to deal with it with another uh, in another pathway. So, and I, I don't think enough is done, even at school, to identify special.